Climate change is real and it is not going away. You guys already know that I made a video on climate change and how architecture plays a huge role. This is an aspect of architecture that I'm actually extremely passionate about. Sustainable design and architecture is super important and all emerging architects and schools and even practicing architects right now, we really need to pay attention to our designs and how they will later impact future generations, let alone just how it impacts our environment right now. And sustainable architecture by definition um, is just architecture that really takes climate change into consideration and attempts to reduce the negative impact that it does have on the environment and minimizes its own carbon footprint. Like I mentioned in this video, buildings alone are responsible for 40% of CO2 emissions worldwide. And even just manufacturing concrete, if you didn't know, is responsible for 8% of global CO2 emissions. That's crazy. Now, I'm not here to talk to you guys about building materials or the construction industry. I'm more so talking about the design aspect and how we, the designers and the architects, can utilize tools and resources to design smarter, design for a more green future. There is a resource out there that you can utilize. It brings me great pleasure to introduce today's sponsor, which is Cove Tool. Cove Tool is an online platform and resource for architecture students, architecture professors, practicing architects, real estate developers, and everyone involved in this industry to utilize to actually minimize our impact and contribution towards climate change. In just four years, Hove Tool offset 27.6 million tons of CO2 emissions. So this resource that I am so excited to introduce you guys to, needless to say, has already made it such a significant significant positive impact, not just for us now, but for future generations. Cove Tool is a software that empowers architects, engineers, stakeholders, real estate developers, everyone to achieve certain energy targets. Climate change, I regret to inform you, is here to stay and it's it's been very wicked and I think we can all see just from viewing the news on a daily basis how fearsome nature is as a response to climate change. So we really need to band together, utilize this resource COVID to mitigate the long-term effects of climate change as we continue to build up our world. It has the capability to find certain solutions to your building design that allows you to reduce construction costs first off and make data-driven design decisions. It's an automated design tool and the tool itself has plugins for Rhino, Revit, SketchUp, and much more. It can seamlessly integrate with whatever workflow you personally utilize as the designer. So today I want to introduce you guys to Cove Tools Drawing Tool, which is a free resource for you to utilize. It's a user-friendly platform that allows architects and engineers to draw out your building in in the very, very early stages. This is a great way to get better introduced to this energy focused modeling that Cove Tool offers. But Drawing Tool just enables you to actualize a 3D model and just play around with certain design options. But you also have the option to bring in your traditionally modeled 3D geometries into a Drawing Tool. And in this tool, you can still continue to make changes and edits. Lastly, and ultimately export this beautiful geometry that has been optimized by Cove Tool. So I'm going to hop on the computer. We're going to go over the basics of drawing tool and I will see you guys there. From their main homepage, log in or create an account for this tutorial. I will be creating a new project, giving it a title. You can also add a project, a reference number, specify the address and what kind of energy code you will be using. Now you can manually go through and add all of the wall area and glazing area. During this tutorial, we will be using drawing tool. All of the tools featured on the left-hand taskbar are grayed out. You can access the rest of these tools once you start building geometry. You have your snaps, very similar to SketchUp and Rhino, located at the bottom and the changes saved. Always save your project frequently because it is a web-hosted software it does not auto save it to your computer. Now you have 3D, 2D options and a extensive catalog of certain glazing options, structural options, and even openings and apertures. 
On the right hand side, you have a property manager. I am adding a second floor here and just double clicking to change the dimensions in feet. Here we are going to draw a rectangular curve and extrude it using that command. You can convert this basic mass geometry into a room. Going to the 2D top view, you can see I'm quickly adding doors and apertures. It's pretty self-explanatory, but always make sure you save your project. Now, what about drawing an actual building? Let's get into it. So you have two methods of constructing your own building mass. You could use curves and then extrude, or you could build solely with walls. So starting out with just building solely with walls, I will create a boundary and I have the option to determine what kind of program. You can adjust the height, the thickness, and even the R value, depending on what material you have. This will later influence the analysis part of things. Adding a roof, you do it in 2D and you have the capability of changing what type of roof it is. You also have the ability to filter out certain elements in the 3D view and 2D view. Now I can add doors. If I want to change the orientation, I check that checkbox where I can flip it. I'm adding an interior restroom and all these apertures on the outside. Your model is going to be much more accurate and precise as you will spend more time with this. Please note as you draw, everything is properly dimensioned and this is a great start that we can later analyze. First method that I also mentioned was extruding a curve. So I can adjust the heights more specifically in the properties manager. The key to this is translating this massing to a building. This command will generate a flat roof, but if you need to draw an incline, just repeat those steps. After you do this conversion, it functions just as the previous option where you can add windows and apertures as you see fit. Another option for building is even tracing a basic floor plan using components image. Just import it. You could also ro rotate it and scale it as you need. After you modeled your beautiful form, after following this tutorial, I do also want to talk about analysis tool. This is where you actually get all of this data. After we plugged in the site address, the building type, all this key information for this software to run, it is then going to spit out a bunch of design options that allow you to better optimize your design. You can do radiation studies, facade studies, sun hour analysis, energy modeling, climate analysis, daylighting shadow analysis, glare analysis, quality of views, water usage, and even embodied carbon. I use this tool to actually analyze and better optimize my studio project. So even if you're a student and you just want to get more acquainted with sustainable architecture and design, I highly recommend using this resource. Now, like I mentioned, it is a free resource for you to use drawing tool. I highly recommend just heading over. I'll link it down below to create your free account. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment, but also Cove Tool has a fantastic team ready to help you guys out. I had a couple questions here and there when I was getting more acquainted with the software, reached out to them and they were so lovely to work with and answered all of my questions. They walked me through the ins and outs of the software and they were just fantastic. So as always, let me know if you have any questions. I want to thank Cove Tool for sponsoring this video. Let's design smarter. Let's build better. I'm so excited to see what you guys will design using code tool and drawing tool and analysis tool <laughs> and share it with me. Honestly, let's create a greener, brighter future that we can thrive in. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys.